The Honourable Member for Rosevears. Thanks very much, Mr President. I spoke in my special interest speech at this time last week about the problem of wombat mange in Tasmania and how it was being tackled in one small community in my electorate. But of course the problem and the cure is much bigger than that. Mr President, it's so much bigger that I'm alarmed. The problem of wombat mange and the declining, declining population of this tourism icon, a very appealing Tasmanian creature, you must admit, could be worse than the Tasmanian devil facial tumour disease. Yet we know far too little, and most of the Tasmanian public seem blissfully unaware. We're talking about local extinction. It's hard to quantify the wombat mange problem, Mr President, but because there's only one small research team pursuing it, with no state government funding. Scott Carver, who's a University of Tasmania lecturer in wildlife ecology, has been surveying wombats in Narontapu National Park in my electorate since 2009. He is presently assisted by two PhD students, Alan Martin and Tamika Fraser. The results so far are alarming. 94 per cent of the wombat population in the National Park have died. That's in Narontapu alone. Scott says it would be hard to provide scientific answers on whether Tasmanian wombats overall are in population decline without a statewide survey. And I would say, Mr President, that that is absolutely urgent. But we can't wait for a survey. We have to act immediately. The community effort at Kelso, of which I spoke of last week, with its ingenious pole and scoop installations to administer treatment, could well be a model for similar action throughout the state. Community projects that start with the grassroots and work upwards are almost always more effective than top-down action. But they do need some support and funding, and that obviously needs to come from the government. And as I mentioned last week, I was pleased that the leader has been to meet with that group in Kelso and spoke with them about that circumstance. The Tasmanian Wildlife Rehabilitation Council is the ideal body to coordinate a statewide expansion of this battle against sarcoptic mange. A member of the Kelso community effort, John Harris, has outlined to me how the, uh, the mange project could be expanded. Establish a body to take on the statewide project. Promote public awareness in all areas where wombat mange is identified. Record the locations and ensure appropriate paperwork shows treatment zones and numbers. Train volunteers in pole and scoop installations. Ask councils and schools and the TFGA to become involved. Then install, treat, monitor and report. John Harris has also suggested a dedicated YouTube channel showing how to make and manage scoop installations and other aspects too of the wombat mange. The Tasmanian Wildlife Rehabilitation Council, Mr President, says while there has been no government funding provided nor survey data sought by authorities as to the impact of mange on wombats, anecdotally <coughs> tourists are appalled at the suffering that they see on travelling around Tasmania. Could this terrible problem in the Rontabu National Park be duplicated statewide might be a question you'd ask. Well, the Council says there is evidence of widespread infestation, wombat suffering and fatality in the northeast of the state, the east and the south of the state, through the Midlands, in and around Cradle Mountain and Lake St Clair National Parks, the Burnie hinterland and on Flinders Island. I mentioned most of, my electorate, most of your electorate. It's a cause for concern. It is. I did mention Cradle Mountain, Mr President, at the start of the overland track uh, near Ronnie's Creek. There are numerous wombats there, which are very popular with tourists. For the tourism industry, if for nothing else, Mr President, the government needs to support every effort 
to eliminate wombat mange from Tasmania. It's an introduced mange, by the way. It's not natural. People say, oh, it's natural. No, it's not. But the government must act now to stop this suffering.